Hello, welcome back. Thanks for joining us, young LP Hi. lovers. Curtis here with Maya and Ebony. And we're back with another reaction video. I can tell you a little bit about the, the, the album, the song, uh, and then we're going to rate it at the end, yeah? Yeah. Give it a rating at the end, right? All right, so this is another piece of dad's music uh, that we're going to listen to today. Girls, I think you're going to hear this one for the first time. Today, we're going to react to... The Beatles. No. Oh. <laughs> Led Zeppelin. Oops. Led Zeppelin. Oops. Have you heard of Led Zeppelin? No. no. The, 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 these are the Led Zeppelin on the back here. Yeah, it's a four-piece band from the UK, England. You've got uh, Robert Plant on lead vocals, Jimmy Page on guitar, uh, you've got uh, John Paul Jones on bass, and John Bonham on the drums. All right, so they're a four-piece band from the UK. This album came out in 1969, right, so it's uh, quite old. This is their debut album. And today, we're going to listen to the first track on their first album. So this was also the first single that they released, Good Times, <coughs> Bad Times. All right. I got a quiz for those people at home. Any Led Zeppelin fans out there? Here's the quiz. What does Led Zeppelin, Vanilla Fudge, and Taiwan have in common? Taiwan, that's what he said. Stay tuned for the answer. Uh, All right, so. I don't know that. Uh, what else can I tell you about Led Zeppelin? So this is my Japanese pressing uh, of the album. Um, no obi, but uh, it does have the insert in here. Yeah. Uh, these are the lyrics. You want to listen? You want to see the lyrics while you, uh, while you go along? This is a repress from I think '72. This, 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 this song here. Good time. Turn over. This one here. Good times, bad times. This looks like a whale boat. Oh well, you know what this is. Maya, do you know what this is on the cover? Um, a sky float. A what? No, sky float. I don't. A sky float. Yeah, that's that's a good way of saying it. It's a uh, it's an airship that's called a zeppelin, yeah, a zeppelin. And I'll tell you how the band got their name. Yeah. So uh, they were touring as, as as another group for a while, and when they were forming this group, um, someone reportedly Keith Moon, who was the uh, with uh, the Who, he said that the band would go over like a lead balloon. Lead is really heavy, so it falls. So he was trying to say it wasn't gonna be well received. People weren't gonna like it. That's what he was trying to say. And they said, well, balloon, you know what's better than balloon? A big balloon, a Zeppelin. And this was a, a real tragic disaster back in the 1930s, where this airship, uh, they used to fill it with uh, hydrogen, Hydrogen's the lightest gas in the periodic table. Uh, so they used to fill it with hydrogen to make them go up, and it ran into a communication tower, yeah? a communication breakdown of sorts. Yeah? And it, it blew up, and people died, and so it was a really bad aviation disaster. Oh, the humanity. Yeah, and they used this image on some of their other uh, albums and uh, artwork and so forth. All right, so without further ado, good times, bad times. Let's drop the needle. Single. Uh, the B side of this single was Communication Breakdown, uh, which is maybe my favorite off this album. But I'm going to let you listen to the first one that most people heard from Led Zeppelin.
time. Bad times. So, did you have a good time or a bad time listening to that? A good time. A good time. All right. So that was, again, Led Zeppelin, good times, bad times. So what did you think of it? Would you, yeah? Uh, I seen you doing some air guitar and some, uh, some drumming. Uh, I think uh, Jimmy Page would be happy with that guitar playing you were doing, Emily. I think you need to work on your finger work a little bit, but that's okay. And your drumming, uh, Mr. Bottom would be happy with your drumming too. Uh, so what did you like about it? Uh, the guitar, the drums, the, the you What do you think of the guy's voice? Who was singing? Uh, good. A little, little, a little different, I think. A bit unique of a sound for for yeah. for his uh, for the vocals on that one. His name is Robert Plant. Yeah, and a very dis very distinctive voice, uh, very recognizable. All right. Um, so I, I gave a quiz before we rate it. Let me answer the, the the quiz question. We'll get to the rating in a second. I'm playing with my collar. <laughs> Uh, we'll get wait, to the rating wait. in a second. Oh, yeah. Um, before we tell, maybe put us out in the comments. Oh, yeah. What's what, your answer? What's your answer? So the question was, what does Led Zeppelin, Vanilla Fudge, and Taiwan have in common? All right, so here's the answer. Here's the answer. The, the comments, if you know. This right here. Yeah, so this is a Led Zeppelin uh, 1 uh, debut album. Uh, that was issued in Taiwan uh, back, I think, 1970? Might even have been 69. Uh, and it's got this really flimsy cover uh, with kind of this, like, um, uh, plastic wrap over it. It's actually like two separate sheets held together by this weird, not much thicker than saran wrap, really. It's all uh, kind of It's parts. a little broken on the top. Yeah, it is a little broken on the top. Uh, and so you can see, this is like a photocopy of the cover. Uh, they don't have the Atlantic uh, symbol on it like mine does, uh, but they have the uh, Taiwan label printed here in the catalog number uh, in the word stereo printed here. And on the back, it's actually a photocopy of the American cover with made in the US uh, scratched out. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, they scratched it out and then they put the Taiwanese information on here. Yeah. And so that's the Taiwan connection. Uh, and basically, these are basically bootlegs, yeah? They would, uh, unofficial releases. Uh, I like the other record cover than this one. Yeah, it's nicer, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. And so Vanilla Fudge, uh, so Vanilla Fudge would have been uh, uh, an influence, of course, on Led Zeppelin. They were playing some sort of heavy rock uh, tunes in the late 60s. I think uh, when Led Zeppelin was coming uh, up. And so they're certainly influenced by them. But if you look at the label, uh, it's got the track listings for uh, Led Zeppelin, but the title says Vanilla Fudge. So I think someone thought this, what uh, these songs were being performed by Vanilla Fudge. It's not, it's all uh, Led Zeppelin on here. Uh, so here is the label again. So uh, there's what Led Zeppelin, Taiwan, and Vanilla Fudge have in common. So kind of an interesting uh, album to have in the collection. All right, girls, time to rate it. What did you think? Uh, I... we, we rate from, from one to five stars. Yeah, it's, I think it might be one or four. Four stars. Four stars. Four stars, okay. And for Emily? You're going to have five stars? Every record I would probably choose five. Every record you're going to choose five, yeah? Yeah, probably. Probably? Because I like um, the music. Because you like it what? Well, hey, if you like it, you like it, dude. And you like it, but not, not it's not your favorite. Yeah. Okay. All right, there you have it. Led Zeppelin, good times, bad times, listening for the first time. Young LP lovers, out.